Right guys, we're into Britain's Strongest Man week and obviously you're gonna have Uncle Oz and Auntie Liz's Britain's Strongest Man predictions. So we're gonna dive right in today, quick look at the athletes, quick look at the events and then I'll give you my top five, Auntie Liz will give you her top five and afterwards we'll see who's closest. And obviously you guys let us know who you think's gonna win as well. Auntie Lizzie, how excited are you for Britain's Strongest Man? I know I'm excited, it's a huge show, it's got an amazing, every year we say Britain's Strongest Man's getting mm. better. It's a shame we've got a few guys missing. It yes. would be great to have the likes of Luke Richardson, the and likes Graham of Hicks. Graham Hicks in there, yeah. but it's still a stacked lineup. Definitely. Some potential World Strongest Man finalists. You've got the current World Strongest Man, you've got the current Europe Strongest Man. You know, it's it's a stacked lineup with no no weak links anymore. That Britain's Strongest Man. <laughs> no. I mean that, you know, there was a time where yeah, yeah, you'd have a few a guys that you knew would, yeah. would, would struggle. So with that being said, let's take a look at the lineup. So the lineup for this year's competition includes Adam Bishop, Desmond Gahan, Paul Smith, Gavin Bilton, Ryan England, Luke Stoltman, Mark Felix, Andy Black, Tom Stoltman, Shane Flowers, Paro Dwyer, and finally, Mark Steele. And the events that we're looking at are the 200 kilo shield carry for distance, axle deadlift for reps at 360 kilos, axle clean and press, which is gonna be 155 kilos, sandbag toss, and then the Atlas stones ranging from 120 mm. up to a 200 kilo stone this time round. So looking at these events, both Liz and myself agree that it's gonna be hard to see anyone other than Tom Stoltman taking that first prize. Now that's not to say it's a done deal. No. Anything can happen in Strongman. We've seen that many times. People make mistakes, injuries can happen. But all being well, when you look at the list of events, Shield Carry, he's mm. built brilliant for that. Deadlift, he was joint first on the deadlift at the last Britain's Strongest yeah. Man. He's improved since then yeah. on his deadlift. The Axel Press, he's done very well at Axel Pressing in the past. He was one of only three guys that managed the 190 at the yeah. um, Strongman Classic last before, year. Yeah. His sandbag tossing is <clears throat> tremendous. And tremendous his, tossing. He's a tremendous tosser and he's a tremendous stone lifter. So for me, it's very, very difficult to look past him as the heavy favourite. I think with everyone else, I see a weakness somewhere and I don't see that with Tom and that's what... I think, in yeah, my opinion, and I'm, I'm sure most up. people agree. Yeah. I don't think you need to be a rocket scientist to sort of no. predict Tom to win this show. No. So all being, well, we've, I'm guessing we've both we've got Tom <clears throat> as our favourite. First place, yeah. I think as you go down the list, it could get quite interesting. Yeah. Now, I've got a, a locked in top five. Locked in, eh? It is locked in. <laughs> And Very I, official. I'm, yeah. <laughs> I, I've sort of ummed and armed over the last few weeks, but watching training, hearing things, looking how last year went, knowing the guys, etc. I'm pretty happy with my top five. Oh, good. <laughs> uh, will the athletes be happy with your top five? Well, that doesn't matter. What I think doesn't matter to them, they've got to go and prove me wrong or okay. prove me right. right. So should we both say our number two? Okay. One, two, three. Luke, Luke Stoltman. Ah, very good. There <laughs> We're go. on the same yeah, wave. So yeah. we've both got Tom and Luke as our number mm. one and two. That's interesting. And then I'm going to guess we're both the same with number three. I've got Bish, Bish at number yeah, three. Yeah, yeah. So that's, that's it. Yeah. We, didn't, we didn't discuss this beforehand, no, have we? No, we don't talk unless it's on camera. <laughs> <laughs> um, but again, they are the three big names. When you look at yeah. the guys, you know, they've got the most experience. Um, Bish, obviously a former winner yeah. of Britain's Strongest Man, and then you've got Europe's Strongest Man and World's Strongest Man. Yeah. I don't think too many people are going to be too far off that. I think some people might have Luke at third, Bish second, yeah. but um, interesting to see we've both got the same order. Yeah, you know. and I think like going back to with Tom having no weaknesses, I think the reason that other two don't win, I just don't think all round it's the best set of events for Adam to be as consistent as he would need to I be. I think Adam could do really well. There's great events for him. Obviously, he's a great deadlifter. He's yeah. a good stone lifter. He's actually built well for the shield. He's just had bad experiences yeah. with that shield. So that's a, a question mark for me. There's with him. a couple of guys that could get ahead of him on the yep. overhead as well. The overhead. I think Axel is good for him, but he's got experience of tearing his bicep on an Axel oh, before. Shh, don't say that. These are little things that play in the back of yeah, your mind. Yeah, of course. You know, having that experience myself of being in that yeah. position... I've, you know, it is hard. You, you, before that first rep, there's just this little niggle in your in your head that's going, oh, your bicep might go. Normally, once you've done one rep, 
that clears and your sort of confidence grows. So hopefully he gets that first rep out of the way and he feels good. And I think he can be good at the axle. Yeah. But there is these just little doubts, whereas Tom, he's just 100% confident he can yeah. do all these events. And I think for Luke on the deadlift, I think it's just, we've got so many really strong deadlifters. It's and a strong line. You just can't afford to, especially when it's such an all-round good set of events for Tom you can't afford a weak event where you're going to come mid-pack at best absolutely I I don't see many guys getting between Tom on anything but no. you can see guys getting in front of Bish and Luke on a few on events a couple of things yeah anyway that was the easy three so let's yeah. now move to four and five all right after three one two three par par. Par. yes <laughs> oh yeah par I, I think these are very good events for Par. Yeah. I've been very impressed with his axle cleaning. Uh, when he trained with him last year on the axle, and he, mm. he's very efficient. And I think for reps could quite suit him. Yeah. I think if we went top, top end strength, it might not be so good, but I think he's got the efficiency yeah. um, to, to get a decent amount of reps in on the axle. He's very good at the shield. Mm -hmm. He's been training that. I've seen a few videos of him. And he's looking really good. Um, his deadlift's improving all the time. He's a good, solid, you know, 400 plus kilo deadlifter. Um, he scored pretty well at the deadlift at Britain's. I know it's the harder axle this time. Yeah. But I still think the big wheels. Uh, yes. Yeah. Um, and is you know, there's, there's no obvious weakness. No, I think like Tom, Pa will be consistent, just, just at a slightly for, different level. I, I agree. I think he'll be consistently third or fourth in a few events. Yeah. So both of us, interesting. We're both going for Pa then, okay. and number four. And then, we're not going to do the whole list. We're, we're going to stop at we'll five. stop at five, yeah. Because otherwise it becomes offensive. It does. <laughs> and, you know, there's, there's still lots of great guys and anything can happen. But, yeah. my number four. We're going to go at the same time? All right, yeah. Number Three, five. Three, two, one. Andy, Andy. Black. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> oh my five. goodness, we've never agreed on anything. I know, this must be a first. Yeah. We, or our top five is exactly the yeah, same. Yeah, exactly the same in the same order. Wow, that's interesting. Maybe it is locked in. Maybe well, it is a done deal. You know, <laughs> we could Uncle Oz <laughs> and Auntie Liz going with the same top five. Very that's, rare. That's, yeah. Very rare. Well, at least we don't have to argue about who's right in the end. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> we'll both be wrong. <laughs> yeah, no doubt. <laughs> but I think it's going to be a great show. There, um, I th there might be a few tickets left. It was pretty much sold out. It was, um, yeah. But you can watch it on the Facebook live page. stream, yeah. You've got a link down below for that. We will be there. Looking yeah. forward to being a part of it as always. Obviously, some other great athletes. I mean, I, I think it's really worth looking at people like Paul Smith. He's, again, got that good consistency. He's a little bit weaker at deadlifting and, and some other events, but he's a very good athlete. Mm. Um, and it's good to see him back in this. I'm excited to see Ryan England get a shot. Yeah. Coach Ryan, and he, he's done well. He did well at the Magnus Classic last year. I don't believe these are the best events for him, but look out for him on something like the Axel. His pressing is very, very good, uh, and he's just got to you know, dig deep and try as hard as he can. Shane and Desmond Garn, both young athletes that are improving all the time. I was very impressed with Shane last year. I'm looking forward to seeing the progress that he's made mm. since then. It's not long to make that much progress, though, is it? Was it three months? Four it's, months? It yeah, was in November. It was, yeah, it's not yeah. a huge amount of time. No. But it's not the like younger year, athletes, yeah. you know, you know Mark Felix isn't going to get better. He's going to be the same old consistent Mark Felix. God, you're rude. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, I know uh, what you mean. You know, Mark Mark <laughs> is very solid, you yeah, know, yeah, yeah. but he doesn't go and put on 20 kilos to his deadlift. No, of course Whereas not. Whereas no. a younger athlete can, can. They yeah. improve faster. So they're the athletes to look out for and see. I'm just know, goading you. I know. You're just trying to wind me up, but <laughs> always there. Um, nice to see Mark Steele return. Mark mm. is the well, they're they're calling Mark the record holder in the shield carry. Yeah, now, we're a bit confused, aren't we? I believe Thor went eighty meters with a shield, but in a different setup. So it was outdoors with a longer track. So they had a forty meter track as opposed to I think it's twenty or twenty five that they do yeah. indoors. So there's more turns involved. So maybe they have two records. Maybe we just don't we just don't acknowledge Thor's records anymore. I don't know what it is. But um, Mark has done better than anyone else other than Thor on the shield. <laughs> yeah. Is it a different weight shield? I don't believe so. It looks identical. There's two of them. And I don't think Darren's got any new shields. So we'll see. I mean, even that comp that Thor did the 80 metres, the best next was 43. Yeah, he was so far ahead. Similar of, way, you know. Mm. I think it's I think it's the same shield. Okay, I've 
I got a similar distance using this shield as I did to that shield because yeah. I think it's the same shield. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think it's going to be a great show. Um, I want to see the improvements. I know from talking to Dan Hipkiss, the Stockman's coach, he's very, very confident they're going to do well. I've been speaking to Dale, who coaches some of the lads. He's excited to see how his lads are going to do. I know all of them. You know, Britain's Strongest Man means so much to win mm. your national title obviously you've got two defending champions in there not Luke, both defending they're just one's defending two former champions you've got <laughs> luke who has won europe's now but he's not won that british title and they have the arnold's to think of the week, the after. week after so that could throw a spanner in the works to our predictions but i don't think it will no i don't think it will either <laughs> as always guys let us know your thoughts comment down below is tom going to dominate do you agree with our top five? Who else do you think will be in the top five? Let us know as always. Like, share and subscribe to the channel and we'll speak to you guys soon. While you're here guys, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of my awesome strength content.